Welcome. This is Barry Jones from Angelic Wisdom, and we're here for our weekly Ascension Angel Messages for August 12th through the 18th, 2024. So as we begin this reading, I'd like to first of all thank everyone who is returning to this weekly series and also to um, welcome anyone who's new to our Angelic Wisdom community. Hopefully your week has been, previous week has been um, graceful <laughs> to say the least and um, that you are you know, finding ways to manage as the energies that are flowing in now to the planet are um, opening up your hearts. And, and also they were just showing me preparing your hearts um, for greater clarity about your life and about the ways in which you have been um, operating within this world of so much going on and that you're getting more clarity in your truth and uh, that a more authentic expression is um, unfolding for you. So this is going to create um, a lot of sort of spiritual confrontation within the self. The part of you um, that is ego and the part of you that is divine. So in a few moments, we'll just go ahead and tune into this week but if you haven't done so already, make sure that you have subscribed, um, select the all notification bell, like, dislike, and of course, leave your comments. Um, if you feel called to have an angel reading with me, you can go to my current website, theangelschool.com slash services. That link will be in the description area beneath this video. If you, um, would like to support my channel with a donation, you can um, access my PayPal me link um, for Angelic Wisdom. So you'll find that also in the description area beneath this video. Also, um, if you haven't checked out the general monthly angel reading um, for the Ascension Messages for the month of August, then that'll be the first link that you will see so please check that out um very important information there for us and let's go ahead now and take a deep breath and i just want to also mention um the lion's gate um, which was on the 8th of august i posted a daily card message which um the earth dragons came through and um sort of gave us some messages and it was really unexpected the awesome messages that i received from the dragons this week the um, green dragon and um they came through the daily um writings so if you haven't checked that out um, please do so and just know that these portals that are opening up for you for the world um, they are for you so you don't miss them you get what you need you get what you're ready for and that's not a, a um, just when I say that you get what you're ready for that never means that you know your ego here is oh, I haven't done enough or I'm not connected enough and so therefore I'm not going to get what everybody else is getting. No. 
you're going to get what you need regardless of who you're being in the moment. But one of the things that's very clear is that this particular energy is setting us up for something spectacular. And um, the one important thing, well, there's another important thing too. And I heard this um, recently and it just resonated with me. Like, you know, you get kind of goosebumps. And the one thing that's really clear is that moving forward, our expectations are gonna be debunked. <laughs> Mean, and that's not a negative thing, but it's sort of that our normal expectations have been um, over lighted by our ego, mostly. And now that they're going to be over lighted by your I am presence and your higher self, this means that you really should expect the unexpected. That plans and the, the way that we normally plan things and envision them, expect them to be something beyond the boundaries of your ego's ability to envision. And as I went ahead and unearthed the Earth Dragon card, I wanted to show it to you again. Let's place it here for a moment. I want you to be aware of these awesome um, fourth dimensional dragons. They're, when they came in, they were enormous. And um, they carry within their energy field this incredible um, love from Lady Gaia. So the sense was really I felt really grounded in being here on planet Earth at the moment. You know, as if I could really sense that that I was called to be here and that those the gifts that I have are important. And this is what they um sense that they bring to each and every one of us because that is the reason for you being here and that is the reason that you must and the purpose that you must remain grounded in and so they help to first of all give you that confidence in this so if you're doubting that you know you you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing you know all anything that like doubt it just grounds you in your in reality and your truth and in your soul's mission and then helps you to highlight the potential the full potential of your your mission and all of your um abilities and potential at this time another thing that was i was drawn to when i looked at this card was of course the ley lines the, and you can see that there are some codes and keys um, that are lit up on the dragon as well and this reminds us that when we connect with them they their one purpose is to always clear the land and to clear the dragon lines or what most people know them as the uh, the ley lines to clear those ley lines beneath the surface of the earth and this helps to clear stagnation and blocks for you and for everyone else as they tap into this nexus of, of, um, of, of connection, of communication or whatever they are. Like they, these lines run throughout the earth. And so this is sort of like um an energy transport right like it's almost like a like a, a, a system of lines that energy flows and not only throughout the earth and all of creation and, and yourself but 
to the entire universe as well. So these ley lines connect us to the cosmic ley lines around the universe. But as they are cleared, they light up the codes of your divine potential within you, the keys and codes, symbols that are activations within you. And so this is really important to um, awaken and to access during this Lionsgate uh, period. And so that's one of the reasons why they came through. And if you didn't, you weren't aware of it, you can still work with them. You can still, you know, assist the planet and your own location, especially under your home or your office where you're working, um, so that you're really connecting in with this nexus of energy um, and communication. And so the card says, clear your path and the land around you. Stay grounded, be ready to serve. Stuck energy is clearing. You can move forward in life. And that's really what was most important. What I was getting about the Lion's Gate and, and the Earth Dragons was that we need <clears throat> to work with them to help us to move forward. Okay? Um, and that the the... It is time, and so they're bringing forth their wisdom and their gifts and their clearance abilities um, to help you move forward on any project that you've been trying to bring um, to materialize as a service for others in your community or the world at large. So let's just take a deep breath. And breathe into your heart chakra. And then release the breath and feel the love. Feel the love that the earth has for you, that Lady Gaia and all the beings and all the creatures on the earth that they have for you. And as you take another deep breath, your earth dragon stands in front of you. so enormous you might see its face as it lowers its head to the ground and you see look into its eyes and see all the love that it has for you and your earth dragon is wanting to connect with you. And if you give it permission now to connect with you through its heart, you might feel that as it touches you, that your heart is starting to warm to warm up and expand. And just feel it or sense it or just know that it is expanding around you to form a large egg of light around you. And then call upon, notice how safe you feel. Notice how 
love you truly are. And just feel the expansion of this golden egg around you. And within the golden egg, you see keys and codes symbols that are ancient lighting up as your earth dragon activates them for you. And he draws your attention. You might feel as though something, you keep bubbling up from beneath your feet. And it's your earth star chakra that is pulsating as he is filling it with a crystal energy. He's holding a crystal and activating your earth star chakra. Feel it expand wide and deep, the silver light that is illuminating it. And you feel yourself anchoring in to the planet, into your divine purpose and mission. You feel secure and safe. And you feel yourself just going down and down and down into hollow earth in the great golden pyramid. And you find yourself there with your earth dragon in the golden pyramid. with Lady Gaia. And just allow yourself to connect in, like see roots going from your earth star chakra into the pink crystalline heart of Lady Gaia. And there is an egg that is awakening, it's opening. Look inside and see what opportunities, what gifts you're giving birth to at this time. Notice the thoughts or ideas that come to you or clearer sense of direction. What is most important for you to focus on at this time And it could be anything. It could be a particular lesson that you're working through. It could be 
a role in your current work that needs to be highlighted. It could be about your family. And it, compassion that might be needed instead of anything else that you would try to do that might just actually interfere or backfire. Pay attention to the messages that you receive. If you need to see something from a higher perspective, ask. If there's something that you need to sever or let go of, ask for that. To be whatever you need to have cleared or healed. Trust your intuition. Or ask for expansion in your intuition. and a deeper connection with your inner source. And to be more grounded and to have more faith and trust. And perhaps there's knowledge, ancient knowledge and wisdom that you are ready to access. And now you call it up what you need. And now with your dragon, you return to the surface. where you were originally. And you take a deep breath. And you integrate all of the keys, the codes, the lessons, and the wisdom And the angel number that I saw as it, we were exiting was 179. It's a message from your dragon. And it says, you're on the right path for your divine life purpose. Continue with your visualizations and expect a happy outcome as your expectations are determining your future. Just hold that there for a moment so that you might be able to read it and pause if you need it. When I hear that first line, this has been what's really been important for all of us to hear that every one of us is on the right path. You're not behind. You're not um, lost. There's nothing for you to figure out. They just want you to first embrace who you are and where you are and allow. Allow the energy that is flowing through your life and creating what you need to experience in order to truly awaken and heal. And that's really important in accepting where you are and the energies that are flowing through. There's no negative and positive. What there is, is energy that is neutral, that, is on, that only can work for your best and highest good. How it appears through the filters of your ego is just an interpretation 
one that either is frightening or is pleasant or pleasing. But even through that filter, that purpose is still on target. And so in this way, you are on the right path. And this is hard to understand because in the three-dimensional mind, we categorize everything and we segregate everything in order to help us to keep finding these coping corners, I'm gonna call them. So if I find a coping corner where I can say, all right, well, this is right and this is wrong, then it eases up the pressure and the tension for me. However, it leaves someone else in an uncomfortable corner because now they are judged by your comparisons. But when you understand that everybody is where they need to be in their earth classroom, working on the things that they set out to heal, to learn and to grow, then we get out of this and we just, that three-dimensional mindset and we open ourselves up to this fifth dimensional mindset that understands that the variety or the contrast allows for choice, free will, for the opportunity to grow in our own classrooms and the curriculums that we've established for ourselves for this lifetime, ultimately allowing for achievement achievement that can only be acknowledged and valued by the soul, not by everyone else's eyes judging and not fully understanding their own and has less tolerance and compassion for someone else's. When we get into this fifth dimensional awareness, this is when, when we stop twisting things through the, our three dimensional ego into these, they keep, we, we, every time we judge, segregate, or categorize something, we mutilate it. <laughs> when, we open our hearts with this greater understanding of not judging anything, but being present and allowing the energies, these neutral energies, to help us heal, grow, and learn, and develop the unexpected Again, begins to occur, you might call it miraculous or magical or mystical, but it's just reality beyond the confines of our three-dimensional mindset. All right, so let's take a look at the Archangel that we'll be working with this month. I'm sorry, this, <laughs> this week. And we have a Seraphim, Seraphim Seraphisa. And it says, and I love this one, and, and before I could really see it because of the, through the um, viewfinder of the camera, but it says, Relax and open up to source. Keep your heart open. And so 
this is what's going to be so important for us right now. To just relax and open up our hearts. As you relax, your hearts will open more and more and more. Keeping an open mind is a way to keep your heart open. So when you start to feel your mind making judgments or needing to place everything in a particular understanding or a category of understanding, when you feel yourself doing that, that is the ego working to minimize an experience that you're having. It's limiting what it really could be for you. What's going to be so important as you move forward is not to expect what you have usually expected. And you, and it's so important, I get this so strongly, and I don't know if it wows you or not, but as you notice your mind coming up with scenarios about that are limiting about you or about this opportunity that's sitting in front of you, then just know that that practice is closing your heart and lowering the expectation from what you actually deserve and desire. So finding ways to relax, first just by taking a deep breath, and that might not calm it all down if it's anxiety, you know, when you're meeting new people or you're going to an, uh, applying for a new job interview, just relax. One, tell your fear that you have nothing to be afraid of because if this isn't meant for you, then you don't want it. It's no reason to get worked up over anything anymore. Because if it's really going to be like that, there's no need to want it. So in a way, just relax and go through the process, being your best. And here's where you set a standard for yourself no matter what. It doesn't matter if you're going um, forward for a, a new goal or adventure and you know you feel like crazed and it's just too much and you and you say to yourself, okay, well, you know what? I'm still gonna go through the process. I'm gonna see what. I'm gonna discern the truth for myself, not my ego talking to me beforehand, which makes no sense ever, and telling me all kinds of stuff that does, is, you know, it's going to be this and this and this and this and this. Okay, I'm going to go through this. I'm just, and if it's all that, then it's not for me anyway. But I'm still going to show up as my best self with my greatest potential. And I'm just going to put that out there. And if it's received or not, or if I discover this is not right for me, I will know. My intuition will let me know if this will feel, if this is where I need to be or not. But pay attention to if you find it, your mind deciding before you've had the opportunity to discern in the, the face of whatever it is that you're, you're going through.
Let's not be duped. <laughs> okay, so we have the Ten of Water. And this gives us a great sense of, you know, personal fulfillment. That what we want to focus on in this week is what satisfies you. What actually fulfills you? Get ahead of your ego, you know, naysaying, and really identify for you what, what satisfies you. What are the standards that you need in any situation that um, brings personal or soul satisfaction and fulfillment? This, the key words on this card about happiness and contentment, safety. It's another, you know, discern whether or not, or be aware, do you feel safe? Does Do you find things um, to appreciate in the moment or work on as ways to keep your heart open? Focus on appreciation. What is it that make, gives you joy? What is happiness for you? Focus on it. There's always going to be pros and cons, but focus on what things that might um, bring happiness into your life. Allow yourself to really believe and trust that you deserve those things. Notice where you might be cringing around that and where you might need to relax and open, keep your heart open and keep your mind open. These cards were laid down from left to right. So this is about this week. So this is about a, the outer experience and your interaction with the outer experiences. So really pay attention um, when something good is comes forward and are you allowing your heart to remain open or are you starting to criticize and close, close down? Here we have the Rider of Stone and this is the Knight of Pentacles. So... What's interesting here, you may not be able to see it, but it looks like someone has come, um, the person's sitting on the horse, and there is the, a, a man standing on the ground, and he's pointing out things to him, like almost like he's a surveyor, and he's giving him, let's say if it was real estate, um, and you're going, and somebody's showing you the property, right? The real estate agent. And they're going over the details of, you know, all the attributes of this particular property and what might you be looking for in the benefit. So there's in this um, in this card, you get the sense of really, you know, asking the questions that you need, you know, going over um, and 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 seeing something for yourself, right? So I get a sense of, in the vein of what we were talking about, is that one, it's gonna be really important for you before you let your head get going on things, go see something for yourself. See what it's really like. Take in the information that you need, ask the questions, um, listen to responses, you know, um, thoughtfully and carefully, you know, have, you might want to, um, I think of the Knight of Pentacles as someone who's very methodical. So you might want to have some questions that you write down or prepare beforehand so that you don't, so that you um, make sure that your real concerns, the questions that you might have concerns about will be answered. So don't go unprepared is, is the idea here. 
um, but but do go out, whatever this might be. Um, it seems like don't do this from your office or your your desktop or your your phone. Go there. Okay, see it for yourself. Okay, see if see how this makes you feel. Does it satisfy your soul? Does this will this fulfill the goals that you need um, to have met, etc.? I'm seeing something about confusion, and this will help you to avoid that confusion. And, I, and when I saw confusion, I was reminded, you know, we're still in, in the Mercury retrograde. However, I, I do believe, well, maybe it shouldn't be over that fast though. Um, Cause what we were in the, this previous week, it started on the 4th or the 5th. It probably should go for three weeks, so probably to the 25th, but so, um, we're, st we're still in the Mercury retrograde, and um, someone last week I was just talking about how you might have to do things over, um, you know, go go over them twice. Just I was saying that so you don't feel afraid of the retrograde. But someone had sent me um, the different R's like review. Um, oh my God, I forgot what they wrote down but I knew them myself um, before, you know, any, you know, re-examine something, um, you know, recalibrate. Any of these prefixes um, apply to the Mercury retrograde. It's just a way of working. Sometimes we, we, we tend to, in other periods, just we're in a sort of forward moving, clearing as we go. But this period is about you know, presents challenges in communications, which you've seen already. So what you want to do is, since there's challenges in communications, you really want to make sure, you know, check in, make sure that people really understand you, you know, check in, go see something for yourself, um, take your questions, prepare and plan your questions um, so that you make sure that you're thorough, um, that you're making, that you're optimizing um, the time that you are going to go and investigate something. Here, the full card we're getting, and this is about really, I get a sense of this, this is the energy that's been coming up lately for me, um, in the daily, in the messages that we did last week too, which is risk taking, okay? And, um, you know, the Rider of Stone or the Knight of Pentacles is very careful and isn't a risk taker. However, keep an open mind and an open heart. And I'm just going to say it this way because the fool is next to this card and is following it. And so keep an open mind, keep an open heart. And get the information that you need. Ask the right questions. But you have to always remember you just cannot prevent what might happen in the future. Because all of that depends on how present you are in each moment. So if you're worrying about the future, you're constantly worrying um, in your journey towards the future goal, moment that you're worried about, then you'll likely manifest some of those risks. But if you focus on being, doing your best and really tapping into your divine potential and purpose in this, in each moment of your journey, this can turn out in incredible and miraculous ways. So live in the moment and be available to what is accessible to you in the moment in order to sort of foolproof yourself against 
something disastrous. But also don't be afraid, just because it is Mercury retrograde, to do something, to to begin something or to start something or but just know that you will have to really take extra time to go over things, check, you know, like you might be typing and on your you know, spell check or autocorrection, like, you know, really look over things because of autocorrect as one example. Um, you know, have other people review a contract. So get different eyes on it to make sure that you haven't missed something and the other person hasn't missed something. Um, and make sure that you do whatever it takes to make sure you have the, the right and clear understanding um, between you and, and another party. Okay, the card from, I pulled already from the bottom of the deck is the three of water. So this gives us a sense of, of um, you know, one, that an, an opportunity, um, something might unfold that's um, rewarding. Like you might get some really good news um, in terms of, it could be if you're applying for a job, you know, you might get good news that you've gotten a job and or that you discover that this is the right fit for you or the right opportunity for you. Um, that's one thing that's coming to my mind. Also that you might um, discover people of like mind, people that you can get along with and work well together with, all right? Um, so things like this happening for you as you keep your mind, your mind and your heart open, you attract people of like heart and mind. All right, so I send you lots of love and angel blessings. We have a really um, overall positive reading here um, and positive external experiences. Just being, you know, being more invested in communicating and uh, in your actions, you know, will make will allow everything to, to be fun and um, and rewarding. So, God bless you and enjoy your week.